I made a promise to my family back in 2010 when I discussed standing in the 2011 general election that I felt we needed people to stand who weren't bothered about getting re-elected because tough decisions had to be made to get the economy balanced, sort out public sector pension debt so that we we gave we left a legacy to the next generation and their children that, that they wouldn't inherit a massive pension liability and a load of debt. But I think, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm honouring a pledge, but equally, COVID will, the back will be broken on it. We'll be living with COVID probably for the rest of our lives, but with a vaccine and the way we've come through it as an island, I think as an island, yes, it, it will be still around, but by the end of September, all the heavy lifting, fingers crossed, has been done and the next administration can, can move on and deal with the other challenges that are coming our way. Ooh, um, I, I suppose, obviously, I, I've, well, I suppose that's really for the people to judge, is, is the answer. I'm, I'm quite proud of the way the island handled the beneficial ownership situation, which most people won't understand just how serious it was. It was the biggest constitutional challenge to impact the island. It made the Radio Caroline debacle all those years back look like a walk in the park. Then I suppose obviously Brexit and Covid, you can't really say it because losing lives, nothing's a success there. But I, I think as an island nation working together we did well. Obviously some things have slipped which we hoped to do but Covid was all consuming. It's been 14 months of seven hours, sorry seven days a week I should say flat out long hours, 10 to 16 hour days. Um, regularly 16 hour days at, at certain phases and therefore little things have slipped in the programme for government. But I suppose those three things from a, a national point of view, the personal two um, things I'm the proudest of is laying a reef at, um, at the Cenotaph, the first Manx person ever to do that, to represent your country when you've got in behind you are pictures of two of my great uncles who fought in World War One? One sadly didn't come back. I had a number of others, too, and obviously leading Timwald off the hill on Timwald Day as as chief minister. Um, hopefully, as as hard working, I've given it my all. Um, I've given it my best. Um, I, it's a bit of fun with the with the Howard o'clock. Um, you can't. I know there's one thing I've I've learned in politics. Um, you can't please everyone, and you've just got to do your best and stick with your convictions. That's what the people of Middle elected me um, to, to do. I've given it my best shot. I hope I'll be favourably remembered, but I, I didn't come in to be popular in politics. I came in to work with others to make some tough decisions so that the next generation... I'm a big believer in intergenerational fairness and I, I hope long term I'll be judged favourably that we hand it over if you park the Covid incident. and internationally uh, and dealing with um, Westminster and further afield that hopefully raised the profile of the island and hopefully the next chief minister will will have a good springboard for them to take the island even higher. Yeah be yourself I, I think is is key and try and make time for you for your family.